My dad's idea for training me for a marathon is, hey, son, you wanna go fishing? Yeah, I do, dad. All right, I got a 20 minute drive up there. Uh, you got 20 miles to go up there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just gonna leave you behind it, but we got water stations going for you. Uh, really, Dad? So I w went up, uh, what, like, what the hell? I go over to the water station. Uh, it's like, oh, there's a minnow in my water, Dad. It's like, t text, like, oh, yeah, there's minnows in your water cups. You need your protein for the run. It's like, oh, I really, Dad? And then when I get up to the dock, to, to, when he pulls me up in his boat, He's like, uh, nope. You, I got, I got a good six feet for you. You're gonna have to hurdle through. I never took tr track, Dad. You, you ever pay attention to me? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so yes, I did sign up for a Grandma's Marathon because I am the rare breed of the slow-paced, disappointing grandson. <laughs> And uh, interesting enough, the music I listen to in my training happens to be Space Jam 2, the soundtrack. I, I don't care uh, how many people hate that movie. I don't care how much LeBron James sold out. I mean, the guy's only human. I mean, it's not like he's the gold, James. <laughs> I mean, some people just get it in my head towards this marathon. Even the park attendant at the spaghetti feed the night before the marathon is 10 bucks for parking. Uh, yeah, you a little nervous. This whole line of cars, you don't know if it's gonna be good spaghetti, uh, bad spaghetti. It's $10 receipt, thank you. Was, my friends, dude. Dude, you should get some video of you crossing the final line. You're doing the full marathon? I thought you're doing the half marathon. I already did two half marathons. You forgot your homeschool math out the window, I guess. <laughs> but it's time, I'm doing the marathon. And I actually just met the founder of the race, uh, Scott. A uh, Keenon, I mean, you can tell in his, back in the 70s, he ate a lot of naan. <laughs> <laughs> then I also got to meet Dakota Lynn Worm at her VIP meet and greet. That She's doing the half marathon in preparation of Olympics in Paris this year. Wee oui, wee, oui, yeah, we're... In Brazil, we we in this together. I just caught myself bitten the running bug. <laughs> I didn't actually say that. It'd be pretty lame if I did, right? <laughs> so fucking stupid. <laughs> then a comedian friend tried to get into my head. She did it in her twenties, Grandma's Marathon. It was horrible. Had Botox as well. <laughs> she didn't finish, but I did. And I was kind of wondering uh, who else would get it in my head. Would uh, Vince Vaughn come around Duluth at some point, renting a car again? And, like getting in this, my head, like he's that guy that he play a small role in uh, Into the Wild. Oh, oh buddy, you're, you're doing the whole Grandma's Marathon. That's got to be insane, dude. I mean, you, you got to get your uh, shorts. You got to get your energy gels. You got to get your gummies. You got to get your bandanas. You, you got to get your shirts. You got to get your extra shorts. I mean, I heard that runners really do shit themselves. I mean, you got to get yourself some toilet paper, too. The, on that pack. It's, it, 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 it. And you got your hydration pack. They're just uh, You got your straw in the uh, hose in there. Hose in there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, you, you got to do that good, buddy. I, you know what? Uh, there's some stuff back in the rain uh, for this Grandma's Marathon, so... Uh, you're gonna expect the, like the maybe the 3 a.m. Uh, 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 final call on um, um, whether they're gonna do the race or not do the race. Uh, you know what? There's that 3 a.m. Uh, uh, final call that that you are gonna do the race. Uh, there there is gonna be some rain, but it, it probably in your race that you're probably gonna do it, like a, a 12 and a half, uh, uh, 11 and a half. Uh, you, you know it, the rain's only gonna hit you uh, through through the halfway point. I mean, you're you're good to go, buddy. And you know what? 
and just when you do make the race, that you're just uh, three minutes shy of five hours of completing the race. I, I, I'm so glad for you, buddy. You, you certainly did it, man. You certainly did it. Uh, good for you, buddy. Good, good for you, buddy. Uh, let's go crash a wedding later. <laughs> what, what else? You know, it's the oldest sport in human history to be into this marathon. I mean, even though, like some of the cavemen, uh, like even saw the first wheels. Like, can I have a bite of that bagel? <laughs> you and my sister collected. She created these uh, fat heads to cheer me on at the final line. Uh, my wife. And my mom hold up these fat heads. I don't know if my sister would allow herself to hold up one of these fat heads. Uh, like throughout my teenage years, uh, she's just gonna be calling me nicknames again. You call me fat head again? You think all the calories are going into my brain? There was even one guy I ran next to in part of this race that he said he's done the Grandma's Marathon 37 times. In mile three, we did see the team of the 12, uh, 30 pasters. It's just like, oh yeah, youngster, we're, we're, we're gonna go faster than that. And then there's one woman that gave me her hair ties just so I keep my shorts up. And then there was one woman that thought I'd keep my shorts up with a safety pin. I don't got a diaper on, mind your own business. <laughs> then there was one of these uh, spectators that, that got their funny signs up, had a picture of Christopher Walken and it said no walking zone. <laughs> Just when I was like going up to her to grab my water. Mile nine, we got here. What do you think we're doing right now? I like to think I'm on a good pace right now. So yeah, finish the full marathon, three minutes shy of five hours. That's like watching the Pulp Fiction twice in a row. <laughs> it certainly calls for a good big Pahuna burger at 7 a.m. <laughs> if I can get myself out of bed the next morning. <laughs> I mean, when I got out of bed the next morning, it, it felt like I did the twist a 10 hour straight. <laughs> It just brings me back to my old moves when when some guy uh, played the jump around hip hop song in a in a in a bunny suit like mile fourteen jump jump everybody jump it's like <laughs> and then some guy got it into my head in in mile eighteen that he was playing a dance in the dark by Bruce Springsteen the boss. You can't start a fire. Hey, you got you got that spark. You keep going, buddy. Oh yeah, he's flirting with me. <laughs> but I'll tell you this one more thing to why I did Grandma's Marathon. I was at my honeymoon at, up in Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada, and outside is is the memorial statue of Terry Fox. Y'all know who Terry Fox is? He is this marathon runner that got diagnosed with cancer, having to amputee his own leg because of the cancer, and with a mechanical one he had to wear, prosthetic. He ran east to west in the friendly neighbor of the north to raise money in cancer research and awareness going on during the 80s and he died ultimately and just when I was looking at his statue it's like I can almost feel his presence and his spirit saying to me do it Gavin do it for your country USA I know Forrest Gump is one of your favorite movies I don't think that movie would ever have been made without me. I can even see that you got a fox tattoo right on your arm. I live within you. 
Ron Gael Vaz. Ron. USA, thank you so much. I'm Gavin Glenn. <laughs>